Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Silvio. Hello, Karina. Hello, Carlos Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Karina. Okay, today is Friday, guys, and I'm going to take the attendance, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Okay, guys, we are going to start tonight with our content. But first of all, I just want to listen to you. Um, and please, let's Present remind. Teacher. Okay, Giovanni. Okay, I'm going to check you in. Remind me or remind yourselves or remind your classmates. Um, what did we study uh, last night? What was the topic? The past to be and the past simple. Okay, past of be and past simple or simple past, right? There we go. And can you please tell me what are the two forms for the, uh, making the past of be? What are the two forms? What's the past of B? The two forms. Was. Was and were. And where, exactly. And they have, I mean, these two forms are completely independent, okay, from the uh, verbs in the simple past. Okay, and they have their own use, their own grammatical structure. Okay, así como el verbo to be en español tiene una estructura aparte, verdad, muy diferente a como usamos los verbos eh, regulares e irregulares. Utiliza, en presente utilizamos el do y el das, verdad, para poder realizar los negativos, para hacer las preguntas, etcétera. Entonces, lo mismo sucede en el pasado simple. The verb be has its own grammatical structure. And we have the regular and irregular verbs. And we use the past tense of do, okay? In the grammatical structure. So what's the past tense for do? 
the past tense, the simple past tense of do is correct, Karina, did. Yes, so we use did for the past simple um, tense. Now, let's see. Let, let, let me um, show you the slides for tonight. Uh, the topic for tonight will be the negative form, okay? The negative form of the past of B and for the simple past, okay? Now let's, let me share this. Here we go. Let's remember that we started the unit three and this is the video conference number 12. Today is Friday, the third, okay, of September of 2021. And the topic for tonight is how to use past of B and simple past negative, okay, negative. Yesterday we saw the affirmative. Now let's go to the next page. Our goal for tonight is in the context of customer service too. Okay. And the <clears throat> The objective is the same. We are going to write sentences using the past of B and the simple past in affirmative and it's um, missing here and negative, okay? Way correctly, okay? Now let's continue here. Our agenda for tonight is First of all, remember that I told you about a conversation. Do you remember the conversation I sent? ¿La leyeron? La conversación que les dije que les iba a mandar para que fuera la primera actividad de esta noche. Okay. We are going to have that feedback with that conversation. And ¿cuál es el feedback que vamos a hacer? Es retelling a story. Okay, retelling a story. Vamos a contar qué es lo que sucedió. Okay, we are going to see the grammatical or how to use the be negative, how to use the past uh, negative, the simple past tense. Then we are having some written exercises and a chit chat later, okay, in the breakout rooms. And the session one on one for tonight. I was checking, I have it open here. Now let me see, no, it wasn't. I will check it out guys, okay? Let me see. One on one. It doesn't show. Okay, well, this open, let's continue here. Ah, that is why Karina was laughing because today is Karina's turn, right? Yeah, Karina's turn tonight. There you are. Thank you, Karina. Yeah. So um, let's continue with the class. And the first activity is to practice the conversation. So let's read the conversation. 
ya sé que la leyeron porque ya se las mandé, ¿verdad? Ya la comprendieron qué es lo que sucede en esa, en esa um, conversacioncita. ¿Okay? En esa conversacioncita lo que tenemos es una señora, a uh, woman, buying, right? Doing a purchase in a retail store, okay? In a retail store. So let me go there. Okay, here it is. Then we have the salesperson. And so the employee of the store and Carla. Carla is the woman who is looking for something at that retail store. So let's read it. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a jacket, a size large. Let's see. Over there, you may follow me. Here, we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I'm not sure about the color. I'd like a jacket in a bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, red and yellow. And here, they are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I would take? No problem. Okay. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Did you write? Bright. Um, Brillante. Right. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No? Okay, then I want to listen to Carlos Roberto and Suleima, please. Carlos Roberto, the salesperson, and Suleima is Carla. Okay, teacher. Okay. May I help you? Yes, I am looking for a jacket aside large. Let's see uh, over there. You may follow me. Here, yeah, uh, we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I'm not sure about the color. I like a jacket in the bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here they are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. My uh, three want of each color to decent with want a good date. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, Suleyma, let's say this question. May I try? May I try? May I try? One of each color. One of, of which color? To decide. Uh, to decide, decide. Which one? Uh -huh. which, uh, which one? Which one? Which one? I would take. I would take. Yes, there you are. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, my pleasure. So now let's listen to Annie and Edwin, please. Edwin is the salesperson and Carla is Annie. Okay. May I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a jacket, a size large. Let's see, over there, you may follow me. Here, we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I am not sure about the color. I like a jacket in the right color. I can offer this other style in orange 
red or yellow. And here they are in the correct size. Would, would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I will take? No problem. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to the breakout rooms and I want you to practice the conversation. Okay. And when we come back, we are going to practice only five minutes. Then when we come back to the main room, uh, we are going to retell the story. So be prepared, be prepared. We are going to tell what happened in that experience, okay? Carla's um, experience. So let's go to the breakout rooms. Now let's see, we are uh, 13, so we are two, three, okay. Okay. Ana Cristina. Okay. Great. Be, be very versatile style. Not sure about the color. I like a jacket in the bright, bright, no, in the bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here they are in the correct size. Uh, oh, yes, please. Would, would, uh, ah, sorry, falta. <laughs> would you like to try on one of this? Yes, please. May I treat one of each color to this display? No. This. I teach. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This seed. This seed. Uh, that... One second, one second. Sorry, one second, teacher. because Carla is calling here. Okay. There we are. Uh, we were in. Uh -huh. Yes, please. please. The last one, right? May. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. May I try? May, may I try one of each color? Yes, to one of each color to decide. Decide, decide, decide which one I or date. I would, I would. I would date. Okay. I would date. Uh -huh. Suleima, haga la boca así, would. Okay. Good. No, así. Good, abierta, abierta no, porque eh, si la hace así, le va a sonar diferente. Ajá. Entonces es mejor así. Mire, would. Okay. Would. 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 Ajá. Exactly. Would. No con G, sino que como una U, así, would. Would. Yes. Would. That's the correct pronunciation. There you Thank are. You, okay, Would. guys, Carla is calling me, so I need to go to her room. Okay, please continue practicing. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you teacher. teacher. There you Would. are. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing, girls? Just practice the conversation. Only okay. practice. 
Now I'm sending it through the WhatsApp chat, okay? Oh, okay, teacher. Okay. okay, there you have it. There it is. Okay, practice the conversation. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes, you are Carla. And I wrote your name thinking about you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I like to use your names. Yeah, and you are going to see one conversation with, with an agent. It's called Christy. Yeah, because of you. You're going to see that conversation later. Ya van a ver esa otra conversación donde la gente de servicio al cliente es Christy. Oh, okay. Okay, there you are. Okay, continue. Please. Thank you. Okay. Empiecen. May I help you? Yes, I am looking for a jacket. I size large. Next for you, you may follow me here. We have this in gray. It's a very tester, versatile. I am not sure about the color. I'd like a jacket in a bright color. I think this other side is red and yellow. In here, they are in the correct place. Mm -hmm. Well, this hello, guys. Hello, how are teacher. you doing? Um, only. Mm -hmm. Only practice the conversation. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. well, what will we do? Hmm? I'm sorry? What, what will we do? Just practice the conversation. Only? Yes. Yes. Only that. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Voy a ir con para tirar en todo el tema. Let's see. Let's see. Over there, you may follow me. Here we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I'm not sure about the color. I like it a jacket. I like a jacket in a bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, red, and yellow. And here they are in the correct size. Would you like to try one on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide uh, which one I will take? No problem. Okay. May I help you? Yes, I am looking for a jacket and size large. Let's see. Over there, you may follow me. Here, we have this in gray. It's a very versatile style. I am not sure about the color. I like a jacket in a bright color. I can offer this other style in orange, well, and yellow. And here, 
they are in the correct size. Would you like to try on one of these? Yes, please. May I try one of each color to decide which one I will take? No problem. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> My, I help you. <laughs> <laughs> very yes, good very good guys very good hello how are you doing i'm sorry i didn't say hi <laughs> hello teacher okay hello. uh let's go back to the main room now okay 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 mm -hmm. uh, may i help you <laughs> uh yes i am looking for a jacket uh, as a search <laughs> One second. Something's happening with this thing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to retell the story. This is one of the uses because we um, have to use the past tense, right? Cuando contamos algo o contamos algo, una historia o algo que sucedió, que utilizamos los verbos en pasado, okay? So, I'm going to show you three examples, okay? Let me see if we are okay here. Now let's retell the story. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start. Carla went to a store, right? Carla went to a store. The, sales per the salesperson offered help. Yeah. Carla wanted a jacket. Right? What happened next in the story? What happened next? The offering color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carla wanted a jacket, right? Um, the sales, uh, pero si lo hago en blanco primero, no me lo va a agarrar. Vamos a hacerlo en negro. Vamos a ver, en celeste para qué. Mm. Okay. The sales person for the other color. Pero ese ya es casi el final, ¿verdad? Donde ya le soluciona la situación. Vamos a ver. Carla wanted a jacket. Pero ¿qué fue lo que sucedió después? What size? 
What size? What's she yeah. looking for? Okay. So Carla wanted a jacket, right? Uh, and large size. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And then. So first of all, for a, uh -huh. a, in gray color. One in gray. Uh huh. Color. Then what happened next? A very versatile styles. Versatile okay. style. One uh, offered one. In gray color and in a very versatile style. Mm -hmm. And then? Carla didn't sure about the color. Okay, we could say wasn't, right? Was, was yeah. not, correct? Was not, mm -hmm. okay. Was not sure about the color. Why? She preferred a green jacket. Okay, so she wanted, right? Porque dice, I'd like. Okay, y eso significa yo quiero, right? So, she wanted mm -hmm. A bright color jacket. Uh -huh. Okay, there we are. Next, what happened next? Ya ven, después lo vamos a cambiar a blanco. The, later we are going to change this into white. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Wanted a bright color jacket. What happened next? The salesperson offer other style. Mm -hmm. Offered. Style or other colors? Other color. Other color. Okay. Both. Other colors. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We could say other jackets. Y díganme los colores and tell me the colors. Other jackets. Orange, orange, and red, okay. red. yellow, yellow. I don't, I don't remember things. Yellow mm. colors, okay. Oh, red. Then what happened? They were in the correct size. Okay, correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next. What happened next? Carla, Carla. Mm -hmm. Well, 
wall of age code. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Carla? Mm -hmm. What did you say? Wanted or get? What did you say? Wanted. Okay. Wanted. One of each. To try, okay. Wanted to try. Uh huh. One of each color. What for? Uh -huh. Para qué se quería probar una de cada color? What for? To decide which one. To decide which one. Uh -huh. Which one? She would take. Correct, would take. There you are. Okay, now let's see the story. Let's retell the story. What happened yesterday, Carla, in your experience, right? So uh, we're going to ask, for example, Mm, Ana Cristina, did you see Carla yesterday? Oh, yes, I saw her. She went to a store and then she can uh, tell us about what happened, right? So now let's read the story. Carla went to, y cuando la leamos, vemos si falta algún detalle que quieran agregar o algo que querramos quitar, okay? Vamos a ver, let's see it. Carla went to a store. The salesperson offered help. Carla wanted a jacket in large size. The salesperson offered one in gray color and in a very versatile style. Carla was not sure about the color. She wanted a bright color jacket. The salesperson, okay, the salesperson offered other jackets in orange, red, and yellow colors. They were in the correct size. Correct size is large, right? Carla wanted to try one of each color to decide which one she would take. Okay? ¿Está bonita la historia? ¿Está, está uh, correcta? ¿Le falta algo a esta historia? De lo que leímos en la conversación. O ya tiene todo. It's very good. <laughs> yes, nice, Carla. Yes, it's good. And this is because of Carla, okay? <laughs> yeah, we use that name because she went to a store. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, now let's see. Karina, tell us about... What happened yesterday with Carla? What did you do? Mm, Carla went to a store. Okay. Then the salesperson offered, offered help and Carla wanted a jacket in a large size. The salesperson offered one in gray color and in a very versatile style. Then Carla was not sure about the color. She wanted a bright color jacket. The salesperson offered other jackets in orange, red, and yellow color. They were in the correct size. And Carla wanted to try one of each color to decide which one she will take. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Suleyma, please, can you tell us about what did Carla do yesterday? Repeat, teacher. Tell us the story. Can you read it, uh, please? Okay. Let's retail in store. 
Carla went to a store. The last person after her head, Carla want a jacket. Wanted. In large, okay. Wants, Carla wanted, wanted a, a jacket. jacket. Okay. In large said inside a person of their one a gray color and in a very versatile state, Carla was not sure about the color. She what what this a bright wanted, wanted a bright color jacket. The sales person Oster other jackets in orange, red, and yellow color. They were in the correct state. Side. No, side. Carla wanted two, one, three, uh -huh. one of each color to decide we want she out take. Wood. 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 Take, take. Yeah. correct. Sorry. Okay, no, no problem. You are doing a good job. Thank you. Okay, you are reading flu fluently. Okay, so now let's see. Juan Carlos, please. Cuando decimos retell, queremos decir que la cuenten nuevamente, ¿verdad? So please, Juan Carlos, retell the story. What happened yesterday with Carla? What did she do? Okay. Carla went to a store. The sales person offered her. Carla wanted a jacket in large size. The sales person offered one in gray color and in a very versatile style. Carla was not sure about the color. She wanted a bright color jacket. The salesperson offered other jackets in orange, red, and yellow colors. They were in the current side. Carla wanted to try one of each color to decide which one she would take. Okay, thank you very much. Bien, ahora vamos a quitar la imagen, ok, y ustedes me van a contar qué fue lo que pasó, ok. We're going to disappear this image, ok. Now, stop. And, let's see, who wants to start with the story? ¿Quién quiere comenzar con la historia? It's the easiest part. This is the part that's easy to start. Carla con went to a store. Yes, Carlos Alberto. <laughs> okay, again, please, Carlos Alberto. Go ahead. Carla, Carla went to a store and the sales uh, person offering help. Okay, now continue the story, please, Kevin. Um, Carla. Looking, uh, looking for jacket in, in the store. Okay, she was looking, okay? Looking, okay. Was looking, estaba yeah. buscando, right? Was looking ah, for was looking. a jacket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and what happened next? Uh, Silvio. Uh, she want she want want a large uh, side large and sales person uh, offer one on gray colors and very very versatile styles okay okay what happened next edwin Um, uh, 
Carla was not sure, sure about the color. <laughs> okay. She wanted a, a, a bright color jacket. A bright, bright a color bright, jacket. Bright color jacket. Okay, then what happened, Carlos Roberto? Carlos Roberto? Yes, teacher. Um, the salesperson offered her um, other styles with other colors. Okay, what colors? Um, orange, red, and yellow colors, to be exact. Okay, thank you. Now, what happened next, Giovanni? It's only you tonight, Mr. Ramirez. Uh, she she wanted one of each color. Okay, she wanted one of each color. Okay, nice. Uh, did she want to try the jackets in the different colors? Did you want? Yes? Yes, she did, right? Yes, she did. Yeah. Okay. Why did she want to try one jacket of each color? Why? To decide which one she will take. Okay. To decide which one she would take, okay? To decide which one she would take. Okay, now, this is one of the uses of the past simple tense of the verbs. So we need to um, a, define, define the situations. If they are in the present, in the present, then it means that are things that we do or that all that we always do. For example, si estamos hablando en el presente, hablamos de cosas que siempre hacemos, de hábitos. Se recuerdan, verdad, de esa parte en donde hablábamos de que hablábamos eh, cuando usábamos el presente lo usábamos para actividades para contar lo que hacemos todos los días, ¿verdad? Para hacer lo que, para decir lo que siempre sucede, ¿ok? O sea, lo que nunca cambia y siempre va a ser así, se dice en presente, ¿ok? Eh, las actividades diarias, las cosas que hacemos en el trabajo, ¿sí? Entonces, usamos el presente, pero las cosas que hicimos específicamente ayer, ok, las, ahí entonces cambiamos al pasado. Entonces, veamos acá. Tenemos algunas acciones en simple present, ok. For example, read the first one, please, eh, Annie. Watch a movie. Okay. Clean out the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Practice English. Play football. Wear lights. Invite friends and family. Invite. Invite, invite. friends. Invite friends and, and family. family. Okay, and very good. So now, please, guys, let uh, help me. Let's imagine that, for example, for example. You did all these things, okay? You did all these things, but they were the last week. Okay, let's say last week, okay? So let's change this into past tense. Cambiémoslo entonces al tiempo pasado. ¿Cómo sería la primera? Watch a movie. Watch, Watch a, a movie. movie. Correct. Watch. A movie. Okay. The next one. Clean up the kitchen.
Clean it. Mm -hmm. Clean it up. Clean it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see the next one. Practice English. Past tense. Practice English. Okay, let's pronounce this correctly. Practiced. 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 Play, 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 play. Okay, now play football. Play. Mm -hmm. play, play, play football. Okay. Fútbol. Miren, el fútbol, en realidad lo que conocemos nosotros como fútbol, eh, los americanos lo llaman soccer, ¿ok? ¿Por qué? Porque fútbol es el americano, el fútbol americano, ¿ok? Así que si quieren mejor lo cambiamos a soccer, ¿verdad? Even though fútbol es fútbol, ¿ya? Yeah. ¿ya? Yeah. Podríamos decir played fútbol soccer. Ok, también se puede decir las dos palabras juntas. Ok. Eh, dejémoslo así para decir que sí, fútbol de aquí, pues, ¿verdad? Ok. Now, let's see the next one. Work at. Ajá. Work at the Ok, ¿cómo pronunciamos work, work in the past tense? Work. Mm -hmm. Ajá, worked. correct, Silvio. Worked. Ok. Worked. Late. Yeah, late. Worked late. Now, what about the last one? Invited. Invited, yes. Invited. Friends and family. Okay, there you are. So this is the way to express the things that we always do or the things that we did today, okay? Or maybe the things that um, we are used to do, like habits, yeah? But if we talk about in a specific time in the past, then we use the past simple tense. And it means that the action just finished, ¿ok? En este caso estamos diciendo sucedió y finalizó hasta ahí esa acción. Para eso es el simple past, una acción terminada en el tiempo pasado, ¿ok? Watched a movie, ya no la vimos, ya terminó, ¿ok? It finished, so we use watched, cleaned up. Now the, the kitchen is clean, so I finished. I finished. Next one, practiced English. I finished my practice, okay? I finished my practice. Then played football, soccer. Yes, because the match finished, yeah, finished. I'm not playing now because it finished. Uh, worked late. Okay, now is the next day that I am talking about that experience. Then it finished. Invited, invited friends and family. It's a finished action, okay? Completed action. Okay, guys, so let's go to our manuals. Now, let me see. Yes, I don't have it handy. Yes, I do. Okay. In our manuals, we have a conversation. Yeah. And we are going to page 31. Okay. Page 
31. One second, I have to. Okay. And page 31, we have this conversation between two women. Okay, it's a customer and is uh, an agent of customer service, okay? And they are talking about something that happened and a purchase experience, okay? But first of all, I just want to ask you, and then I'm going to leave the, the question later, okay? Now let me, play this thing. Okay, voy a darles 30, 30 minutos, I'm sorry. 30 seconds for you to read this conversation. 30 segundos y leen esa conversación, okay? Teacher, the attendance list. Oh, thank you very much. My Okay, let me go to take the attendance. Okay, I will check you and for the second time. Okay, now let's see Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Present. Yes, thank you very much. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Uh, Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Present Vivas. Teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Present. 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 Okay. Thank, thank you. you, Carla. Thank you, Carla. And thank you, Kevin. Uh, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Bar Rivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zulma Verónica, uh, I'm sorry, Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Ok, Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ok, maybe these people are in el Zócalo, right? 
<laughs> because today is Friday, right? Uh-huh. Let's see. Anadermi. Yes, there you are. I'm going to place you here. You said one, right? Okay, I see you are out outdoors. Are you still working? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, Anadelmi. Please just pay attention, okay? Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate your responsibility. Okay, guys, I'm going to play an audio, okay? Just let me go and pull it from here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I think this is the one. Okay, while I play the audio, please, no reading, okay? Just listen to the conversation. Okay, just paying attention to the conversation, not reading, okay? ¿Sí se escuchaba en el momento que puse el play? Did you hear? No. No. Okay. No, teacher. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, please pay attention. Because the agent didn't give me a confirmation. I'm going number. to start it. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Okay. Ahí va desde el principio, from the beginning. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Oh, and do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Oh, my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy that I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Oh, and do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Oh, my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy that I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, and now the third time. Please pay attention. It goes from the third for the third time. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Oh, and do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Oh, my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy that I called another agent again. He was so considerate. 
His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Can you tell me more about okay, your Okay, I'm going to step. Okay. Now, guys. What is happening here? What is happening? Or what happened with, with this customer? He's... Que fue como... Como que no fue amable. Uh -huh. Did she have a good or a bad experience? Bad experience. She had. Mm -hmm. She had. She had a bad experience. Okay. Why? What happened? What was the problem? No. No le dio el recibo. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. The Let's... agent is impolite. Okay, the agent and past tense? Wasn't. Wasn't. Uh, wasn't. Okay, wasn't polite. Yeah. Um, did she know the name of the agent that assisted her in the purchase? Romeo. Romeo was the second, right? Because she called back. She had to call back to know about the receipt and the and how to use the, the product, even though it was easy, she says, right? So now let's go to the manuals and let's read the conversation, okay? Okay, now. Can you please start reading? Uh, let's role play. Okay, let's role play. Luz is going to be Giovanni and Eva is going to be Linda. Can you tell me more? about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He was, wasn't kind. My I, apologies. Apologies. Uh, mm -hmm. My apologies for that. And what about all about? Could you use it? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo. And he explained everything to me. Okay, great. Now let's try to imagine. Let's figure this out. I mean, let's, um, yes, let's imagine what is happening here. Imagine that you call the customer just to verify if, if everything was okay with the purchase, right? Like doing a survey, right? Like doing a survey if she got a good service. Now you find out that this customer is not happy at all, right? She is angry. Do you think you are going to, I mean, think about what will be your attitude, okay? Think about what would be your attitude um, to manage the situation with or to handle this situation with an angry customer or a dissatisfied customer, okay? Let's try to use our more kind uh, language and voice, right? And the tone of voice is very important here. So let's listen to Carlos Alberto and Carlos Roberto, okay? 
Let's listen to them, but I need this with intonation, okay? There we go. Can you tell me more about your parents? It was so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for that, um, what I bought. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. I was kind. It wasn't. My apologies. <laughs> My apologies for that. And uh, what about uh, our product? How do you use it? Yes, I could. Uh, it wasn't so easy, but I call it another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Okay, very good. You did a good role play, guys. I should record your conversation. That's a very good intonation. Okay, now let's hear Suleyma, please. And let's see, Silvio, please. Okay, teacher. Can you tell me more about your experience? This wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a reception uh, receipt, a for a, what, receipt. A receipt, receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent, Nate? No, I don't. Actually, I think he did, didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apology for that and what about our products? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Thank you, Silvio. Okay, you see? Now let's listen to Ana Cristina, please, with Juan Carlos. Okay. Can you tell more about your experience? It was not so nice because the agent did not give me a confirmation number. He did, did not uh, even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent name? No, I don't actually. I think he did not say his name. He wasn't keen. Kind. Kind. And what about you, brother? Yes, I could. I could. It wasn't too easy, but I called another agent again. He was to consider his name was Romeo, and he explained everything, everything to me. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's listen to Kevin and let's see who is down there. Karina, please. Oh, it was Annie over there. Okay, Karina, go ahead. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? Yeah, but it's so nice because the agent did give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a reset for what I about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I did. He didn't say his name. He was kid. Kind. Kind. 
My apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. Uh, in what? What's so easy? But I call it another agent again. He was so considerate. Uh, his name was from Romeo, and he explaining explaining every, everything to me. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, one moment. Carla, please, with Annie. Okay. Can you tell me more about your experience? I wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what about. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about our product? Go to use it? Yes, I could. I wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me. Okay, thank you very much. Now, guys, let's see. In activity number three, let's look at these two columns. We have the column of deed and the column of didn't. It means that we have to read the conversation again and write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen, okay? So let's read the conversation. I'm going to read it for you again. And it says like this. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't actually. I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. My apologies for that. And what about your, our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy, but I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo and he explained everything to me. Now, let's see. What things you see that happened, okay? Las cosas que sí sucedieron y las cosas que no sucedieron. Okay, las cosas que se hicieron y las cosas que no se hicieron. Okay, now let's see. ¿Cuál sería la primera cosa que sí se hizo? Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Hay más cosas de didn't, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Empecemos entonces por didn't. Let's start by didn't, okay? Mm -hmm. She didn't make the mm -hmm. The agent didn't. Uh huh. Give the information. Uh, okay, Acor according, according to the conversation. Vamos de acuerdo a la conversación, cosa por cosa. Así como cuando contamos la historia, ¿se acuerdan de la de Carla? Um, de la compra que hizo Carla. Veamos acá, cosa por cosa. Vamos a ir haciendo oración por oración. Okay, so the agent didn't. Mm -hmm. Gave uh -huh. information. A confirmation number, okay? Number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't give her a confirmation number. Uh-huh. 
These are the didn't column, okay? So next one. What else didn't happen? He didn't have a son. Mm -hmm. He didn't send a receipt, okay? Esta palabra, ahí miran una letra P, ¿verdad? Pero esa no se pronuncia, ¿ok? Solo se dice receipt, receipt, ¿ok? Next one. ¿Qué otra cosa nos sucedió? What else didn't happen? He didn't say his, num his name. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see any other thing? Mm -hmm. We could say also he wasn't nice, okay? Even though the things that happened could be he wasn't nice, right? Let me go down here. Okay, este lo vamos a pasar para allá. But it's okay, he wasn't nice here too. Now let's see here, las cosas que sí sucedieron. Things that, yes, happened. Por eso es el detalle. Podemos pasar, he wasn't nice acá, porque eso fue lo que sucedió, even though it is negative, right? ¿Sí me comprenden? Okay. No, teacher. no, teacher, sorry. Lo que sí sucedió fue que él no fue amable. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eso sucedió. ¿Ya? Yeah? Correcto. But now, let's think about the, the things that uh, did happen. The customer. Uh -huh. Did. Uh -huh. Did what? Uh -huh. Me llevo de regreso para arriba el cuadrito, ¿ok? Va, aquí tenemos la conversación. Las cosas que sí sucedieron. Uh -huh. The customer is Eva, right? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, let's see. The customer called again, right? Why or what for? The second agent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the second agent. Was cons considered. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? He explained everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
to hair. Mm -hmm. And how? Mm -hmm. Luz. Dio como disculpas. Okay. Luz. Mm -hmm. Apologized. Okay. Apologized. Mm -hmm. What else could happen here? Okay, the second agent gave his name. Correct. What else, guys? Are we okay to hear? Luz apologized to customer. Mm -hmm. So let's take this thing back. Uh huh. Tell me. A P O L O. Apologies. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you because I could barely hear you. Okay. Apologized. Apologized. Thank you very much. There you are. Okay, now we know the things that did happen or just happened and the things that didn't happen. Cuando hablamos de las cosas en afirmativo, okay, utilizamos el verbo en pasado o el verbo to be en pasado, el verbo be en pasado, o los verbos regulares e irregulares en pasado. No utilizamos did Por ejemplo, acá dice the customer, no le pongo did cold. No, ahí estaría equivocado, ¿ok? Solo cold, pero para la forma negativa sí tengo que ponerle que no hizo. Entonces, ¿cómo se forma el negativo? Aquí lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Didn't give, did not y el verbo en infinitivo o en su forma base, ¿ok? The verb infinity. ¿Entendido hasta ahí? ¿Vamos bien? Are we okay so far? No, teacher, no, I don't understand. Uh, what part didn't you, Giovanni? Because I said three things. La primera cosa era la forma afirmativa, que solo estoy hablando de la gramática. Esto ya lo usamos, ya lo manejamos, ¿ok? Cuando hablamos y contamos algo, ya ahora ya sabemos usar el pasado. Solo estamos recordando, Giovanni, que para la forma positiva o afirmativa, utilizamos el verbo en tiempo pasado, que es la segunda columna, ¿verdad? Es la segunda columna de la lista de los verbos, ¿ok? Ya sea regular o irregular, usted busca el pasado del verbo y como se los está aprendiendo, los está memorizando, ya va a ser más fácil al memorizarlos para poder usarlos, ¿verdad? Aquí no ponemos el auxiliar porque no lo necesitamos, es una afirmación. En la afirmación va el verbo tal y como es en el tiempo pasado simple. Ok. Now, for the negative o para la forma negativa, when we express uh, these negative sentences, we use the auxiliary did con la partícula not, did not, pero contractado es didn't, right? Y le, el verbo va en el bare infinitive o lo que sería 
el, la forma base del verbo, ¿verdad? Que está en la primera columna de su tablita, de su lista de verbos, ¿verdad? La primera columna, esta es la segunda columna de los verbos, ¿ok? So, the agent didn't give, no dio, ¿verdad? Aquí, the customer called, el cliente llamó, ¿ok? Transformemos esta en negativo, la primera, para que veamos la diferencia, ¿ok? The difference between affirmative and negative, ¿ok? Let's see here, let me annotate this. Y vamos a transformar estas. Las voy a pasar aquí. Aquí las negativas quizás. Oh, lo voy a hacer aquí. Ok. Number one. The customer. Uh -huh. Called again, right? ¿Cómo sería en forma negativa esa oración? Uh -huh. Bien. Call again. Thank you. Okay. Giovanni, esto era lo que yo estaba explicando. Are we okay? Or do you have a question? No, teacher. Okay. Number two. Giovanni, please transform number two into a negative. Remember that here we are not using a regular or irregular verb. We are using the verb be. Okay. El pasado del verbo be es independiente, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo sería? Un pasado simple, ¿verdad? Yes, number two. Un pasado que no. The second agent mm -hmm. en afirmativo es was, okay? En negativo, ¿cómo sería el negativo de was? Ahí no usamos auxiliar did, okay? Ahí directamente ponemos wasn't. Excellent, Giovanni. There we go. Now let's see number three. Number three. Let's transform number three, guys. The second agent gave his name. The second engine gave the gave the gave it, gave it, gave it. Okay, gave sería el afirmativo, Giovanni. Ahora en negativo, ¿cómo sería? Gave it, gave it, gave it. El verbo en presente es give. Okay, el verbo en presente wow. es give. El verbo en pasado es gave. Okay. Entonces, si lo paso a negativo, voy a utilizar la partícula did plus not, pero como lo contractamos, ponemos didn't. Ajá. Y ahora el verbo en infinitivo o el bare infinitive. ¿Cuál es el bare infinitive? Quitándole la partícula to, ¿verdad? Entonces, ponemos didn't. ¿Cuál es el presente de, de gave? Ajá. Give. 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 Correct. The second agent didn't give his name. ¿Estamos hasta ahí? Are we okay? So far? Vamos a seguir hablando de esto en, el, en la siguiente página. Tenemos una lista de oraciones. Vamos a ir para allá. Okay. I'm going to erase this. Now, aquí lo tenemos. 
lo que estábamos hablando. Okay, what we were talking about. So, how to use past of be. Son dos cosas muy distintas, okay? El past of be is independent. Ahora, simple past, lo vemos otro momentito. Veamos ahorita past of be, okay? The past of be. Let's remember, in positive, was. In negative, was not. What is the contraction? Wasn't, okay? Now, where and positive or affirmative, then we have where not. And what is the contraction? Where it. Thank you. Con qué pronombres utilizamos was? With which one uh, do we use? Which subjects do we use was? I, mm -hmm. he, she, it. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Now, what about where? What pronouns do we use or take where? Mm -hmm. Ju. Mm -hmm. It. Mm, we, it was a was. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, we. Mm -hmm. It did. They. Okay. Y ahí está. Esto es lo básico que tenemos que saber acerca del past of B. En este caso estamos, ya vimos el afirmativo. Ahora veamos los ejemplos en negativo. Usando wasn't and weren't. Say weren't. Weren't. Ok. Could you please open your mics and say weren't? Weren't. 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 Could you please open your mic, guys? I need to hear this pronunciation. Weren't. Weren't. Wasn't. Weren't. Weren't. Wasn't. Wasn't. Weren't. Weren't. Okay, I'm going to erase this and let's read the sentence. Okay, I wasn't interested. Okay, I wasn't interested. You weren't cold. You weren't cold. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. They weren't online. Okay, now can I hear you please? Uh, let's see. I don't know if Anadelma is at home now. Okay, but could you please, Linda, read the examples of past of B. Okay, I wasn't interested. You weren't cool. He wasn't kind. The people weren't help, helpful. They weren't online. Thank you very much. Now, please, Carla. Yes. Pass of B. Yes, please. He wasn't interested. You weren't cool. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. They weren't online. Okay, just uh, let's be careful with cold because cool is like this or cool is nice, right? <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
él está diciendo, tú no eres cool. Ah, entonces le está diciendo, tú no eres buena onda, right? <ríe> ok. Y ahí dice cold, Carlita. Ok. Cold. No tenía frío. Ok. Now let's listen to Carlos Roberto, please read the past of the examples. Um, this part, teacher, the five? Yes, part? please. Yes, this box, these okay. examples. I wasn't interested. You weren't cool. He wasn't kind. The people weren't helpful. They weren't online. Okay, remember cold, cold. Cool. You weren't cold. Si le dice you weren't cool, está diciendo tú no eres buena onda, right? <laughs> okay. You weren't cold significa no tenías frío, okay? No tenías frío. En inglés no decimos you have or you didn't have cold. Si usted le dice you didn't have a cold, está diciéndole no tenías gripe o, o un resfriado. Ok, así que para decirle a alguien que tenía frío o que no tenía frío, usamos was and were. Ok, usamos el be, el to be. Now, let's see the simple past now. We said we use did, not, and the very infinitive, right? So I didn't receive any number. You didn't send a contract. He didn't say his name. She didn't call again. We didn't buy a product. Okay? So now, please. I'm going to say the name and you read one sentence. Then I say another name. You read the next and so on. Okay? Digo un nombre y lee la primera oración. Otro nombre, segunda. Okay? Yes, see. Okay, let's start. Karina. I didn't receive any number. Okay, Carla. You didn't sign a contract. Okay, Carlos Alberto. I'm sorry, Carlos Alberto. It didn't say his name. Okay, now let's see. Silvio. She didn't. Call again. Annie. We didn't buy a product. Okay, thank you very much. Now, guys, we have to write the sentences using negative in the simple past. Okay, so let's see. Number one. Number one. Uh huh. I. I was wasn't satisfied with wasn't. my lap. Okay, wasn't. Mm -hmm. I wasn't satisfied with my laptop. Thank you very much. Now, next one, Martha. Uh huh. Didn't write a letter to her boss. Okay. Okay. Number three. 
we weren't, we weren't so happy with the food service. Oops. Okay. We. Okay, next one. Aha, uh -huh. Pedro and me. Pedro and me. Mm -hmm. Past tense. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. didn't. The company. Didn't what? I can't hear you guys. Pedro and me didn't? Didn't drive to the company. Thank you. Okay, next one, number five. The basic part. Uh huh. Didn't. Uh huh. Didn't. Didn't what? Send. Okay. Didn't send. Many emails. Okay. Next one, number six. The program. Wasn't okay. Too slow. Okay, there we go. Do you have any question about this? The negative in the past. No question. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. No one else? No? Okay. Now let's go to the chit chat that we said, okay? I'm going to share a slide with you. Let's discuss this thing in a chit chat. En una plática, ¿verdad? Así como... Platicando, sí, platicando. Talking. Let's read the first question and you give me your opinions about this or what happened. If you had an experience, you could tell us about the experience when you forget this thing. So the question is, did you ever forget about given instructions? Did you ever forget about given instructions? ¿Alguna vez se les olvida a ustedes alguna instrucción que les dieron? Did you ever forget about given instructions? Please take out the garbage. Uh-huh. And you forgot, right? <laughs> Please send the email to your colleagues and you forgot, some things like that, okay? Let's see. Giovanni, did you ever forget about giving instructions? Oh, yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. No, um, no, 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 no. No, never, never. Yes. Sí. Sí. <laughs> hey, everyone, do you believe Giovanni that he never forget <laughs> any instruction? Okay, let's say, yes, we believe you. Okay, Edwin, what about you? Did you ever forget about giving instructions? Uh, mm, uh, 
Um, ok, esta es una plática no, entre teacher. amigos. Este es, es un chit chat, ok, es una plática entre amigos. Nadie más va a saber, ok. Nobody no. else is going to know. <laughs> ok, guys, I need you to participate with this. We have just five minutes to do this, ok. Así que todos, por favor, contándome sus historias. Everybody, please tell me a story. Edwin. No voy a decir nombres, pero Edwin estaba hablando, ok. Did you ever forget about giving instructions, Sadling? ¿Alguna vez se le olvida que, por ejemplo, su mamá o en el trabajo? No, teacher. No? No. Nunca le ha dicho a su mamá, mira, me recoges, por favor, todos los calcetines sucios y me los pones aquí. Y usted lo hace. Yes. <risa> ok, le dice su mamá Arrégleme el cuarto por favor Porque en, en, hay gran desorden Ay, se me olvidó mamá yes, Ahorita, corriendo <risa> So you Oh my god You are not from this planet guys Yeah Because I am Always forgetting about giving instructions Even I try to not um, Do that, right Because, well What do you think? Carlos, old Carlos, or Carloses. <laughs> Suleyma, did you ever forget about giving instructions? Yes, teacher, uh, instruction, the, and you teacher, the English. Cuando vamos a trabajar en los grupos, le decimos que sí, pero cuando vamos allá, Ajá, uh -huh. yes, you're right, yes, Suleyma, okay. you are, you are very sincere, yes, yes, it's true, I have seen it, I have seen it, <laughs> okay, let's see. If me, uh -huh. yes, sometimes, um, okay. I know the price and system, uh -huh. uh, with the problems, <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what about, um, well, that that's in your job, right? Okay, what about in your house? Or you give the instructions in your house? I don't buy... <laughs> uh, Bread, milk. <laughs> I, yes, I don't buy milk. Uh, uh -huh. the weekend, uh, okay. Social, <laughs> okay, so you forget about that. And guys, how do you feel when this happened? Or maybe you gave the instruction and someone didn't do what you wanted or what you said you, they should do. What do you feel? Or how do you feel about that? Los enoja? Do you feel angry? Do you get angry? Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Can you tell us a story or an experience? When I say to my brother that he he should do their homework, oh. he didn't do. Their okay. Homework. Uh -huh. Then how do you feel when he doesn't obey? Angry. <laughs> do you imagine Karina angry? Can you uh, picture that in your minds? ¿Se imaginan a Karina así enojada? No. <laughs> no, right? She is so smiley. Yeah, she seems kind of, well, she doesn't seem any stressed. Yeah, so. <laughs> so did you forget, did you ever forget to give someone's messages you received? Me dijeron, mira, y le decís a fulano que tal y tal cosa. Did you ever forget to give someone's messages you received? 
or you receive a call and they say, uh, can you please take a message for your boss? <laughs> and you didn't give the message, did you ever? Never. Sometimes. Usually. Usually. Uh huh. Um, in the working, it's, it's in sending mail uh, the, the whole company. Okay. Like, like. Uh huh. Okay. In your company, do you receive calls? Do you receive calls and someone asks you to give a message to anyone? There's uh, uh, the personal reception it sent the message for, for all department in the company. Okay. Uh, I received uh, a call. It's for me, no, not for, for messages. Uh, oh, okay. So you don't have to pass any message no, to anyone. No. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to continue with this chit chat. Uh, okay. And you see, this is kind of, uh, kind of nice because we can speak freely here. Okay. So uh, let me take the attendance because we covered all the material for today. And let's please turn on your cameras and say present when I say your name. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Present teacher. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Melendez Rosales. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto Garcia Ramírez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present, teacher. Present. Present. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present, teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Ok. Ok, Ana Cristina. Eh, Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Ah, present, you said teacher. present, right? Ok. Uh, Nancy Betova Rivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Okay, people. So we finished. We are off the clock now. It's 10.02. So please do your homework and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. okay Don Kevin, I'm sorry. Let <laughs> me see. Let me see, why didn't I? Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Kevin. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. No problem. I apologize or my apologies for that. Okay. Okay, Karina, please. Uh, are you staying? I'm sorry. Are you staying? No, teacher. Yes, teacher. No, it's teacher. I knew it. I knew it. Why, why did I know? It? Did I know this? Okay. Uh, does anyone want this available space to ask your questions or if you have that? And everybody turning off the cameras, right? No, no. Uh huh, like this, right? It... <laughs> no one? I have no question, no. No questions. Are we okay with everything? Yes, teacher, no, teacher. Oh, you guys, you know what? I'm going oh, to tell teacher. you something. Uh, okay, I'm going to tell you something. 
cuando se quedan así en silencio o es que entendieron todo, ¿verdad? O es que de plano yo no me expliqué en nada, right? <laughs> okay, no problem. There we go. Have a good night, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Night, I'm not, sorry, good on night. Monday. On Monday. Monday. Monday, teacher. Yes, Monday. <laughs> yes. Happy, happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye. good night. Can you tell me more about your experience? It wasn't so nice because the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. He didn't even send a receipt for what I bought. Oh, and do you remember the agent's name? No, I don't. Actually, I think he didn't say his name. He wasn't kind. Oh, my apologies for that. And what about our product? Could you use it? Yes, I could. It wasn't so easy that I called another agent again. He was so considerate. His name was Romeo, and he explained everything to me.